This is Twit. Uh, we did stream without event Google's GDC keynote right before the show today, in which they announced Stadia, which is a really interesting play from Google. Not unexpected. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a gaming platform that uses Google's powerful servers to render the game and allows you to play on almost any dumb device, even a Chromecast Ultra connected to a TV. Google says they're going to do a controller to go with it that does some interesting tricks to reduce latency. Uh, Stadia is, I th you know, and they're announcing at the Game Developers Conference, so their goal was to get developers working with them. There aren't any big-name games coming out, at least so far, although they had uh, somebody from id talking about a new generation doom game that's not anything that's going to warm the heart of modern gamers and they also announced some interesting features including first of all they're going to use youtube as part of the platform for this so you could be watching a gaming video on youtube whether live or recorded and there'd be a button that says play now you press it in the browser and the game starts playing almost instantly no downloads no updates no configuration you're playing the game as fast as, they say, 4K, 60 frames per second. What they didn't say is that's going to depend an awful lot on what your internet service provider <laughs> lets you get away yeah. with. Uh, I have no Rest doubt that Google has this, the server capacity. In fact, they are they got a special NVIDIA chip, or I'm sorry, AMD Ooh. chip designed uh, for this that they say is going to give them 10 teraflops of performance. You'll have a dedicated Stadia server. You might even have the game rendered on multiple servers. And with that kind of performance, they out they actually have better server side performance than an Xbox or PlayStation Four. But again, they've got to push it down that pipe that's controlled by a bunch of monopolistic companies, at least in the U.S. And uh, it's unknown how that experience is going to be. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. They didn't say anything about price. In fact, the only thing they said about availability was sometime this year. It's free as long as you turn the camera on. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I bet. I, don't know. I bet they're they're going to have to they're going to have to release the, do this in stages. I think. I don't think they can possibly open up all the tabs and let millions of people who are sampling the service in at the same time. They're going to have to say. It was here the first 100,000 invites went out. Now here's another 500,000 yeah. invites. Um, I, I was part of the Assassin's Creed uh, trial. Did you was, use you played Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, on your? Chrome yeah, and I, browser. I was I was super impressed. It worked. It was just it, yeah. it worked great. But the thing is, um, I'm not a typical gamer. I'm not the person who is. Uh, I, I don't have a special pair of gaming socks for <laughs> for for to to increase my performance in playing the games. I'm I'm a really uh, casual gamer. But the thing is, it really did feel like I was attached to a well-performing PC, a well-performing console, but the, but I have no idea how this is going to scale up to once you have uh, millions and millions of people trying to use the service at the same time, or millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people uh, when they scale it up to worldwide. And also the first time that it's not just latency affecting your performance in the game, they can't even have the, uh, the uh, they, they can't even let people imagine that the reason why they got killed was because it was this stupid streaming game service that they're never going to trust and never going to play again. So hard, really, really interesting. Uh, but I'm curious to see what the marketing of that is like. The people who are interested enough in gaming that they want these really wonderful experience, but aren't necessarily willing to spend two to five hundred dollars on a game console i don't know what that market is well it's i think anybody who has a game console or gaming pc is not the market yeah no. <laughs> unless <laughs> they're, they're mobile so i mean you could right also now. you could do it on your android phone in the subway well okay maybe remember uh, that diablo press conference leo i'm sure that's their reaction to this right now <laughs> yeah yeah i also there's some also some interesting features i mean the integration with youtube the potential for esports that name stadia does kind of imply yeah. that uh, the fact that you can save a game state and share it, which means that I could say, oh, this was a really good part, Andy. Let me send it to you. And then you could pick up gameplay at that exact point with all the same inventory, my yeah. character. That's really interesting. There, how there's how soon before someone figures out how to sell that as a marketplace? Yeah. Saying, we will take you to nearly the end of Cuphead so yeah. you can get to start at the final level. Isn't that interesting? I never thought of that. Uh, so th I think that Google has thrown a lot of stuff against the wall, uh, the devil being the implementation.
That's my question. It's like because we, we wonder about Apple moving further and further afield from what you would consider core technologies. And a lot of this is core to Google, but it goes back to like how many industries can all these companies be in and be in them right. well right. before they end up being General Electric or something. Right. No chance Apple would consider something like this. Uh, never, I mean, the subscription gaming service might be a different take on this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. And, of course, they're going head-to-head -head with Microsoft's subscription service, which downloads the content onto your Xbox. Uh, Google does have uh, – sorry, Sony does have a streaming service. Uh, they bought Steam. Gaikai. Steam, which isn't quite uh, streaming, but – yeah, uh, but we'll it, have streaming yeah. soon. Microsoft will have streaming soon uh, too. Yeah. 